and we return to book 24 of Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, the last book of this epic story. Now, if you have yet to catch up to this point, or have just stumbled across the video at the end, then down in the description below is a link to the playlist where you can listen to the entire Iliad, since it has now been recorded. But, if you are here for this one, then without further ado, and without stalling for time, we begin with Book 24, as many are surprised to find out that this is, in fact, the final chapter of the epic poem, The Iliad. The story has begun in Median Res, and is completing in Median Res, so many question why. What of the horse? To those questions, I have but one answer. They are not relevant to the story of Achilles' rage. It is here in Book 24 that Achilles finally releases his rage and finally finds his peace. How? Well, the Book of the Iliad is an emotional gut punch compared to the rest of the book, which is filled with violence and swift and bloody death. Even a stoic such as I shed a tear while reading. The book begins with Achilles in his rage dragging Hector around the Patroclus' tomb, a ritual he completes daily, causing his fury to mount higher and higher each day as the body refuses to be marred. Hector's body is closely guarded by the gods on both sides of the war. Apollo and, Ath and Aphrodite may protect it from harm, but are unable to steal it away eh, to Priam as Athena, Hera, and Poseidon are guarding it from theft. Zeus <laughs> comes up with a compromise to end this stalemate. He decrees that Achilles will give up Hector for a ransom, but one that Priam himself will bring and deliver in person. Priam hears this message from Zeus and gathers his treasures for a ransom. His wife believes that he has suffered a bout of madness and that the mission to go alone is suicidal. She worries, and her worries are quelled when Zeus's eagle is sent down for confirmation for her husband to see. In the dead of night, Priam leaves the city and heads into the Achaean camp. He is met by Hermes, disguised as one of Achilles' aides, who hides Priam on his path to Achilles. When Priam arrives at Achilles' tent, he kneels before Achilles and kisses the hand of the man who killed his son. His appeal touches Achilles' heart, quelling the rage inside of his own heart as he sees his own personal father within Priam, and the two men embrace and shed tears between each other. This is one scene that, despite the flaws within the Brad Pitt's movie, uh, Troy, at least I think it was Brad Pitt, I can't remember who was in it now, but within that movie, Troy, regardless of all the historical inaccuracies and the butchering that they did of this story, this is one scene that they got hands down nailed perfectly the feeling and the touch of a father forgiving and asking for his son and begging to his son's murderer such a deeply emotional scene and achilles agrees to give up hector's body and even offers guest friendships for priam but does ask that he does not sleep directly in the tent as one, any one of the other generals may arrive and discuss war plans with him. And, well, he has to understand that we're still at war. Tonight, we are my, you are my enemy. Tomorrow, you are my enemy. But today, I will give you the respect that my enemy even deserves. This is one of the biggest points of the Iliad that has to be hammered home within this book and why it's so important. You can have all this bloodshed, misery... This cycle of violence of, I kill you, you kill me, or you kill my brother, or you kill this person. And it just cycles and cycles and cycles within this vengeance. Yet what really ended it? It's not that the violence is going to be ended or the cycle of war won't be ended. But the respect for the enemy, that is what has changes Achilles' heart. That is what allows men to move on. That is what allows men to actually fight 
and actually take over and get their goal done. Otherwise, they're just stuck in a sight endless cycle of death and misery. Respect your enemy. That is what this book wants you to learn. Now back to a uh, Priam. He does ask, uh, sorry, Achilles asks Priam how long they need to bury Hector. And he gives his vow that he will uphold the truce for that time. Priam cries and thanks Achilles for his mercy before falling asleep outside of Achilles' tent. Hermes, seeing the light of day fast approaching, fears that Priam may be captured and the mission will be for nothing. He goes down and wakes Priam up before guiding him back to the city of Troy. Priam's daughter and Agamemnon's future concubine before her murder in the, uh, in the Orestes, Cassandra approach, sees him approaching and flings open the gates to receive Troy's favorite son. All of Hector's family song, sing songs of mourning, including Menelaus' wife, Helen herself. And after nine days of mourning, the body is burned and his bones are interned in golden casket. Now, all of Troy fears that the Achaeans may ambush them as they try to bury as they try to bury their favorite son. But true to his word, Achilles has finally put aside his rage and has let them bury Hector. And with all of this done, Achilles finally putting aside his rage finds his humanity and has found peace within his heart. The man may die happy. And with that, the whole epic poem of the Iliad comes to a close. Now, if you enjoyed this, as I did, I highly suggest you pick up a copy for your bookshelf, as the Iliad is one of the best books to own and to go back and read over and over, as it has so many lessons that we can learn nowadays. Not only that, there is a reason why this was considered the Bible of the ancient days, that even Alexander the Great had carried a copy close to his heart. And if you would like a copy, you can find it within the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you would also leave a like and a comment on what I can do to improve for future books, and don't hesitate to subscribe. And with that... I look forward to seeing everybody when I try out and I read the next book by Homer, The Odyssey. Take care, everyone.